walk? Can we have just teleported down into the area? As I've told you before, sister dear, the signal is incredibly erratic. I mean, you know, we don't even know the extent of the damage to the venture. We could have materialised anywhere, you know, like a, a tree, a, a wall, or even a... Upside down, a head in a bucket. Now that I'd like to see. Look, Steve, perhaps those people can tell us where the nearest settlement is. Well, perhaps they could, but I really want to try out my new phase shift analyzer. Yes, this should, little baby should be able to indicate the nearest selection of buildings of significant proportions. Yes, all right, I get the picture. We'll all be happy when you've settled into your new body and stop coming out with nonsensical phrases. I'll just be polite and say hello. Hello? That's strange. Nobody turned around to pay any attention to us, except that young girl. It's exactly what I think of you. You're as strange as they come. Blimmin' cheek! But seriously, Steve, don't you think that's a little bit odd? Well, they're probably just too busy to be bothered with interruptions. Steve's right. That looks too hard work for me as well. Any sort of work could look hard to you, unless it's working at eating. Less of the insult to you two. Anyway, let's be pressing on. Hmm. The readings of this planet on the scanner are really starting to worry me. Taken a while you. Oh, can't you stop thinking about food for five minutes? Well, yeah. It's nearly lunchtime and time for eleven seeds. So. Besides, I don't have much of a selection and nothing there really grabs me. I'll grab you where it hurts in a minute if you don't shut up about your stomach. I'm surprised they haven't noticed us already without the fuss you're making. Hmm. How bizarre. There seem to be loads of fluctuations going on in the mass of this planet. Anyway. I don't like this, Steve. Something's definitely not right around here. Look, no one's paying any attention to us. It's as if we're not here. Is there any way you can find out what's going on? Well, firstly, Miss Brown, what does it matter if no one can see us? Surely that just means we won't make a scene and cause the usual amount of difficult situations we so often find ourselves in. Well, if that's the way you feel about it, Steve, why bother coming here first? Why not just go straight to where the key is and get out of here as soon as possible? Well, it's not as easy as that, Lizzie. I mean, the reading's making it difficult to find anything, let alone the wretched key. That is so typical of you, Steve. Just getting bogged down with the minor details instead of concentrating on the job in hand. Ah, these look good. But do they feel good? Alright. Does it taste good though? What did I do? 
Yes, Jimmy, what did you do? I don't know, Trico. I just picked up the apple. Well, for nothing, that was a really big reaction. In fact, it was the only reaction we've had since we've got here. Yes, I don't think we can achieve any more here. Maybe I'll go back to the venture and get Robo to do some work. Run some simulations of these readings. Maybe they'll tell us something else that we can figure out. You never know, they may even help us discover what's wrong with the venture and, and how to remedy it. Well, if you're going back to the venture, I'll come part of the way with you. I want to stop off at that farm we passed on the way and I'll try and find that child that looked at us. For one thing, she looked so scared and lost. And for another thing, she might be able to help us find the key. I think I'll stay here and uh, just in case anybody comes back. Someone needs to be guarding the fruit from you. You'd be better occupied looking for somebody who can help us find the key. Well, where should I look then? Well, the village elders might be a good start. Yes, see if you can find a local meeting place and ask there. Then uh, give us a chance to get back to the venture and give us a ring if you find anything interesting. Yes, definitely. I, and I would stay out of trouble, you. I know what you're like, fraternising with the locals. This really is most bizarre, you know. The planet's mass is fluctuating at an alarming rate and it's just getting worse. Look, just do what he says and stay out of trouble. Trouble? What trouble? Why does everyone think I'm going to get in trouble? Shh, shall we hear you? I wish I knew what was going on here. Hmm, something strange is happening every day. You're right. This morning I fed my baz dew. And when I went back to give it the water, it had gone. The cage was still locked. How'd it escape? And what was that in the square? How can a padu fruit float in mid-air? Right, this is where you get off, Miss Brown. So stay put and see what you can find out. 